We're going to demonstrate how to install PBX in a flash. Press the enter key uh, once you've booted from the ISO. This will uh, erase and reformat all of the drives connected to your system, uh, so be sure to remove any USB flash drives before you begin. Uh, for the keyboard, uh, choose your country and then click the OK key by pressing uh, the enter key. You can use the tab key to move through these options uh, and then scroll with the up and down arrows, choose your time zone and press the enter key on OK. Then make up a really secure root password for your system and you have to type it correctly twice. CentOS 5.5 then will uh, reformat your drives and begin the install. And we'll skip some of the details here and pick up at the conclusion of the uh, installation of CentOS, at which time, uh, if you're installing this on a local machine, uh, you would want to remove the CD. As you can see, we're nearing the completion of the CentOS install. Uh, if you're using dedicated hardware at this point you'd want to remove the CD while the system reboots. If you're using a virtual machine uh, you can just uh, hold steady like we are. Two things to look for as the machine reboots. First, uh, make sure that it, uh, your system gets a network IP address otherwise the uh, install of PBX in a flash cannot uh, continue. You also want to make sure that the uh, your hardware clock is set correctly or uh, the com compile of uh, asterisk will fail. So those are the two critical components. You'll see here in a minute uh, the Ethernet Zero got an IP address, so we're okay. Then you'll be prompted uh, for the type payload you wish to install. We're going to install the latest, uh, greatest version of Asterisk 1.4 with uh, Dottie, so we're going to choose uh, PBX and a Flash Silver, which is the B option. Unlike the other distributions, uh, we compile all of uh, the source code uh, on the fly, so you always get a fresh system. Um, if you've got an internet connection, you'll see a display uh, as our payload file downloads to begin the installation of Asterisk, uh, FreePBX, and a number of other Linux utilities. At this point, uh, the installation will proceed. It usually takes about 15 minutes on a standalone system or about five or six minutes on a virtual machine. So come back when it's finished and uh, we'll resume from there. We're in the midst of the asterisk compile and uh, we wanted to show you a screenshot just so you know everything's moving along. Still chugging along as you can see the uh, asterisk compile is nearing completion. When the payload is completely installed the system will shut down for one additional uh, reboot 
and you ought to see the PBX in a flash logo when the second reboot occurs. After the reboot completes, uh, log in as root with the password you created. And if uh, you have a successful install, you ought to see a green prompt. At this point, uh, we need to run update scripts, which will get you the latest uh, scripts for PBX in a flash. And then update fixes which brings your system current. Now you'll be prompted to enter a new password for the ARI interface, which was extremely dangerous the way the defaults were set. And once you've done that, the uh, update scripts and update fixes uh, scenario will complete. Finally, you'll be asked if you want to view the log file. You can type a Y there if you want to look at what's actually happened. Otherwise, type status and you should uh, see all greens. And there you have it. PBX in a flash is complete.